Hi everyone, this is Ants. I always had this use case where I needed to generate Kelvin waves or boat waves or boat wakes, the wake of a boat and the waves it generates. So I finally found something and it actually was right in front of me. It was actually part of the Godot engine demo projects. So let's, I'll show you the demo quickly. bad I'm even using a very low uh, resolution height map for this you could tell it's not really that great but if you increase the height map or reduce the size of the water it actually looks even better than it is right since it's a Kenny low poly model that's the reason why I still use 512 because if it's if you're using a low low poly boat what's the use of how high poly uh, waves and stuff so one of the other things other than uh, changing cameras is um, the dampening. So I'm going to turn the dampening kind of all the way down. And now you're going to have waves that persist very, very long. And they're going to bounce off the edges and, and all sorts of stuff. All right. I don't think it's... The use case of this is that good, so I'm going to turn it down back to normal. So there's that. And the other thing I want to show you is the performance. This is 4K full screen, and uh, I'm capturing um, I'm capturing this. So it's about eight to nine hundred, depending on the angle and all that kind of stuff. So. Yeah, the performance is pretty good, and the reason why its performance is good is because it's using compute shaders. Okay, so I'm going to show you where I found this base project, and it's part of the Godot demo projects, compute, and then textures, right? And here's the repo, and I'm going to show you a demo of the base, the, what I started with. And so we're going to go to Godot and run the one from um, the demos. And you could change the rain size, right? Big raindrops, that's a lot, that's big. Or you could draw, right, with your mouse. You see how I'm using my mouse to make drops? So I basically use this concept to actually generate a wake right and uh, that's basically it and believe it or not the FPS of this uh, I was getting close to <clears throat> 1600 like something even even much 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 better so um, I did have to modify a few things but this is the project you want if you need raindrops either random or if you drop something in the water and you could change the, the size of the raindrop Right, so it'll make a bigger wave. And um, yeah, it's actually fantastic. I tried to I try to actually get a Kelvin wave going with uh, libgdx for like three months and I, I didn't get anywhere basically. And it was so easy. I, I actually spent more time finding the sound of a motor of a, uh, a <laughs> speedboat than anything else. So that's basically it. So we're gonna stop the video uh, with a, a redemo of my amazing speedboat, which I just play around with it, it like for ten minutes, and I I don't know, it's just mesmerizing. I'm gonna may try to make it better. Maybe I'm gonna make a game out of this, like an obstacle course type game, because it's actually quite fun. So I hope you enjoyed it and um, thank you for watching.